If I tell you do like this, I'ma show my do like this. If I tell you do like that, I'ma show my take to the left. Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a review on the new Fenty Pro Filter Concealer and the Setting Powder. Um, this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to split the screen so you guys can see the process and I'm going to give you my review as is. The Fenty Foundation and the Concealer in the Setting Powder, they came out on January 11th. Rihanna already released 40 shades of foundation and on January 11th she released 10 more shades to make 50 shades. So she released some in between shades. The closest shade to my shade that she released was 445 but that was too dark. Um, for me uh, I am in the foundation in 420 and I'm going to put it up over here I'm gonna be um, applying the foundation so you guys can see um, what my face looked like before I had any makeup on when I applied the foundation then I'm gonna show you guys the process as I apply the concealer and the setting powder so you guys can get a feel from where I started so what kind of coverage the foundation gives and then what kind of coverage the concealer gives and what kind of finish the powder gives. I went to Sephora. I'm going to insert a clip. But I went to Sephora on January 11th as soon as the foundation and the concealer and the setting powder came out. I was in the store. I was in Sephora. I went to the mall and I got the, I got the concealer in the shade 370. Now, although I am in the shade 420, like as Rihanna um, came out with the foundations and the concealer to match. So, if I was in the foundation 420, then my concealer would also be 420. But I am the type of person, I like a highlight under my eyes. And 420 was more um, to conceal, basically. Just like if I wanted to do a no makeup look um or i wanted to do my eyebrows like 420 would be perfect because that would be most like close to my skin tone like it'll only be like a tad bit lighter just um to give you like the smallest highlight um so i was in the store i tried like the 410 concealer i went to the 400 concealer i went to the 390 the 380 all the way until i got to 370 and that is what um I most liked I can compare 370 to the LA Pro Girl Fawn um, and when I use LA Pro Girl that gives me like the perfect highlight it has a nice uh, like yellow golden undertone so 370 was really nice I'm gonna show you over here on the side of the screen um, how the concealer looks when I was applying it the concealer is described to be creamy creaseless and it's supposed to like you know hide all your flaws it's supposed to be the ultimate cure um when i was applying the concealer the concealer was very creamy as described um i didn't get m creasing like I applied the concealer on my eyelids and that is usually where I would get the most crease in so I did not see any creasing in that area um I still like have like a little bit of bags right here but it's like you know the concealer isn't gonna do magic magic so they still gonna kind of be there but I do have like a radiant lift where um you can look at like how I started from the beginning to now where I had like dark circles they're covered the foundation fully covered the concealer fully concealed and covered and I do have this like lift and glow under my eyes that um I was really happy about Um, you have to work fast with the concealer like that was the only downside like as you can see over um, on the side you can see I was kind of struggling to blend in the concealer because it did dry up some so it was kind of just hard to blend out but um, 
if you like apply it and you're like blending out like it blends out so smoothly like the first part that I did because it was fresh it blended out so seamlessly with the foundation in combination with the foundation so just like if you decide to purchase the concealer just remember you know you gotta you gotta be snappy with it and you gotta hurry up and like blend everything out same thing with the foundation because this is made for people um with oily skin so like there is it is a mattifying foundation it is like a creamy concealer but it is a mattifying concealer to hold in all the oils and everything now moving on to the setting powder so i paid 32 dollars for the setting powder and my first impressions on the setting powder was that like you get such a huge amount in this jar and um this is 28 grams 0.98 ounces so you get a lot for your money and i was just looking for a new setting powder and this was just like perfect and i'm gonna get more into it and tell you why so first impressions was like the amount you get for your money was bomb um second thing this powder smells so freaking good like it has like a kind of this fragrance but it's really pleasant like i don't really know how else to describe it, it kind of smells like flowery baby powder like it smells like really fresh really um it just smells good like it has a good fragrance to it it's not um giving me like a fragrance that's like too strong like it's something that's not supposed to be in your face like it's really like light and pleasant so i got my um setting powder in the shade honey now usually i would get a setting powder in banana but when i was in the store banana was more like banana was really light like it was yellow and it was light and i could have got away with using banana but i chose honey which is i think it's the next shade after banana or this one in the middle um i'm not sure but i chose honey and this is like a darker setting powder like as you guys can see over here um it's not like really light but it is like what can i describe it as like if you guys have ever tried like Sa sacha buttercup setting powder like this is like so close to that but it is a little darker like honey is made for like brown skin tones like people my skin tone and like a little darker like get honey like don't get the banana powder banana powder i would say is more for someone um who is light skin lighter like a, f a few shades at least lighter than me then i would say get banana but if you're like my shade or a little bit darker like in that brown skin range like get honey um it is such like this pretty color it is like this yellow powder but it's like it's neutral so it's not like giving you too much where like you take a picture and you can tell like this is exactly what it says with the powder and this is like what she did with the other plate other the other parts of her face like it's not like that so i feel like i love the setting powder way more than i love the concealer the concealer was still like good but you know it wasn't all all of that for me but um i absolutely 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 love the satin powder um yeah so it blended out like a dream like it blended so seamless seam, seamless it blended so seamlessly on top of the foundation and on top of the concealer like it was like a breeze like you know how you have to struggle you got to go in that circle of motion to dust off your baking powder and kind of like blend it in so when you take your pictures you know you're not getting that flashback or anything like it was not a problem and I was moving so lightly with my brush like sweeping it back and forth dusting the powder off and it came off like a dream like like that was my like favorite part like so after I did the setting powder, I just applied these lashes. These lashes are from my new brand. It's called The Glitz Company. Go follow that on Instagram. I'll put it down here on the bottom of the screen. Um, 
and they will be releasing soon i also went in with the fenty gloss bomb and the fenty kilowatt in hustler baby and it gave me like the ultimate glow um i'm gonna show you a few scenes one is going to be of me in regular lighting um, just so you guys can see the setting powder and the highlighter and the gloss and the foundation like whatever the concealer like whatever you're looking for I want you to see it in regular lighting and then I'm going to show you in my studio lights how it would look and then I want you guys to see how it looks in the sunlight so you guys can decide for yourself um, if you feel like it looks cakey or if you feel like um just basically so you can see the texture so you know you see the you see the realness you're not just seeing it under my studio lights where I'm filming at so um if I was to rate the concealer out of 10 I would probably say for me it's like a 7 7.5 the setting powder I recommend it 100% I give it a 10 out of 10 um um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and you know, if you subscribe, you'll be part of the Glitz Gang. And you know, I welcome you with open arms. Mm -hmm.